loss of exponents so in this we have main uh, three important laws the first one is product law the first law we can take it as product law in this uh, board only we can see the meaning the product is nothing but multiplication so here is the rule a to the power m into a to the power n is equals to a to the power m plus n the meaning of this is when numbers are in exponent form with the same base the okay, base is same so to get their product add their powers keeping the same base we need to add the powers okay this is the first law let us see how to apply in this uh, numbers in this question for example let us take a power 3 into a to the power 7 so base is same right so a to the power just add the powers 3 plus 7 that is a to the power 10 it is now so a power 3 into a power 7 a power 10 don't multiply 3 into 7 when the base is same we need to add the powers same time obviously we will get because a to the power 3 is nothing but a should be multiplied 3 times right into a power 7 is again a should multiply 7 times 4 5 6 7 and multiplication sign in between them overall if you observe a to the power 10 total 10 times so obviously a power m into a power n is equals to a to the power m plus l remember using this we can do few more examples uh, for example x square y cube multiplied x to the power 4 y square so what's the value of this x is the same base only we can add the powers x and x is the base is same so here's the power is 2 4 so 2 plus 4 into next to y power 3 y square so y to the power 3 plus 2 then overall x to the power 6 into y to the power 5 okay. so without symbol x power 6 y to the power 5 so in this exponents topic there is no multiplication symbol is nothing but a x power 6 is multiplied with y power 6 don't get confused if there is no multiplication sign also if you write side by side it is nothing but multiplication just if you write a b there is nothing but a into b it is ok in this algebra you can see both are same so this is the first law product law and next second one the second law this is the quotient law quotient Second law is the quotient law. Here is, or let us take question a power m divided by a to the power l. Then a, that is a to the power m minus l. So when number in exponential form is divided by another number in the exponential form, both having the same base, both having the same base, is subtracted from the bigger power to the smaller power by keeping. That means when his numerator power is bigger than denominator power. So this is only when m is greater than n. Or else a to the power m by a to the power n is equals to 1 divided by a to the power n minus m. This is when it is uh, m is less than n. Okay, if m is greater than n in this type you proceed, if m is less than n in this way. See, when you can see the num uh, numbers, we get easy to remember. x to the power 5 by uh, x to the power 3. This is x to the power just 5 minus 3. So, denominator power you are taking up. So, minus 3. Or else, same type, x to the power 3 by x to the power 5. So, denominator is the bigger number. Is a, uh, Denominator power is bigger. So, this we can write. 1 divided by x to the power 5 minus 3. So this power is denominator, please. It will be empty. 
this we can treat as 1 right your numerator is 1 so this is 1 by x to the power 2 okay this is the way when m is greater than n directly m minus n when m is less than n 1 divided by a power n minus m you take and see one more example for this even 2 power 3 divided by 2 to the power 6 okay. if you observe here you write like this 2 power 3 divided by 2 power 6 numerator is smaller a denominator is bigger power in this so you can write 1 by 2 to the power 6 minus 3 so 3 it is okay, directly 2 power 3 means 2 multiplied 3 times okay from this if you weigh in this 2 should be multiplied 3 times divided by 2 power 6 is same 2 should multiply 6 times remember now if you cancel this 1 2 1 2 3 then what is the remaining 1 is on numerator denominator is 2 3 times right 2 power 3 okay we got same or right same thing so the second law is the quotient law and next we have third one third law in this is a power law second power first one is the we use the product next is quotient this is the power okay so in this a to the power m again whole to the power n you can write a to the power m into n okay when the number is in the index form is raised to another index then the base is raised to the product of these two indices two index this two index you have to multiply. Okay, this we can use as the power law. Let's see by example. A to the power 3 raised to the power whole power 6. So this is a to the power 3 into 6. So a to the power 18 it is. Very simple. That means if you see in clearly a power 3 whole power 6. So a to the power 3 should be multiplied 6 times okay whole power 6 right a power 3 should be multiplied 6 times now if you observe that first rule when all the bases are same we should add the powers 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 so total 18 will cut so same thing that's why you can use the power law directly okay one more example 15 a square divided by 5 a to the power 10 if you write in this uh, a numerator by denominator 15 a to the power 2 divided by 5 a to the power 10 we can cancel this 15 into a square 5 into a power 10 or 5 and so 5 3 then up to here 3 into a square by a to the power 10 don't cancel 2 and 10 now 3 as it is a to the power 2 by a power 10 that is a to the power 10 minus 2 3 by a to the power 8 okay so up to here we used previous law so the question term rule we can apply okay this is the together we can use similarly power law one more example x to the power 6 whole to the power 3 by 2 so, okay here is a fraction now but rule is x to the power 6 into 3 by 2 x to the power we can cancel 2 1 are 2 3 3 into 3 so 9 x power 6 whole power 3 by 2 is x to the power 9 okay so these are the basic rules let us see some more properties now 